anymore. What? What's the matter? Everybody keeps coming and bugging me with everything. I need this. I need that. I need a doctor because you backed into me in the parking lot. Ah, why can't anybody just do anything for themselves? Well, what about Karen? Ah, don't even get me started on her goblin looking ass. Just this morning she pissing me off already because I asked her about the Wi-Fi. And you know what she did to me? She just freaking looked at me and nods like this. So that's why I can't log into my internet browser. Yep, she done fucked up our lives. <sighs> Everything seems to be going straight downhill ever since Evelyn left. But I don't know about downhill. I just gotta find somebody else for everyone to pass her. The only good thing about having her here. But she also handled everything that you needed done as far as time off requests and paperwork. I don't care. I'm better off not having her here. But is it the right move? I'm not bringing her back, Shirley. For all I care, she be living in a dumpster. Besides, she's the one who left. She left because you treated her very unfairly. Mr. Harold, if I'm being completely honest with you, you're lucky any of us are still here due to the lack of respect you give us. Whatever. I'm done with this stupid conversation. <sighs> I miss Evelyn. Shirley, take your trash out. Jerry Jane and I'll come back to Monday. <sighs> if Evelyn was here, we'd have a backup janitor. Why are you so heavy? Jared can clean it up when he gets back. Miss Aunt Shirley, I think your trash is in the floor. Yeah, I know. That's why I left it.
Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jason. What's up? Not a lot. I've been looking for you. Well, he found me. Hi. Uh, look, I hate to tell you this, but I'm going to have to take a rain check on our date tonight. What? Why? My uncle's in the hospital, and we don't know how long it's going to be. And I want to say my last goodbyes in case I don't get another chance. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Don't even worry about it. I completely understand. You sure you're okay? Positive. We'll just plan another date. Awesome. Thanks for understanding. Jason, you're strong, aren't you? I guess. Good. Take that trash out that's in the hall. I gotta get something for my back. What came first, I'd hate to know. Shut up, Madison. I want this bitch suspended. Thelma, watch your language. Since when do you care what kind of language I use? I don't. Who is it? This one right here. Damn, Coochie. Who named a child Coochie? <sighs> Why you want her suspended? She's so damn disrespectful and obnoxious, be whacking people with her hand fan and shit. You see? She just be whacking people. Dabba, I'm not gonna suspend this girl. Uh, well, why not? Do you not realize how much paperwork I already got on my tape? If I do this, there's gonna add more. Well, why don't you just hire a new vice principal then? Yeah, we see how well all that's working out. You little bitch! <sighs> Last Friday night, yeah, we danced on tabletops, and we took too many shots. Think we kissed, but I forgot. Last Friday night, yeah, I think we fucked a lot. Always say we're gonna stop. Ah, ooh, whoa, this Friday night, do it all again, do it all again. Woo! And that is the end of our show. Shalane, please get away from me. Sorry I'm late. No, you're not. Yeah, you're right. I'm not. Bridget, I'm glad you're here. I need to tell you something. Why do you people always need to tell me something? Doesn't anybody text anymore? I'm serious. So am I. You don't have service on your phone? Bridget. Present. It's about Chelsea. Ew, then keep it to yourself. Ugh. Hola, Clase. Ah, hola, Senorita Rodriguez. Hola, Guapo. What are you doing in here, Senorita Spanish lady? I'm teaching you Spanish today. Why else I'd be here? Um, 
Senorita Rodriguez, I don't think we're scheduled for Spanish class today. You only have Spanish one time. How do you not have Spanish today? Shelly, Spanish class in here today, no? Uh, no, I don't think so. I can't shit fuck. <laughs> I think she's my favorite teacher here. I thought I was your favorite. Well then. Charlotte, I have your attendance sheet. Oh, thank you. This is a student release form. I grabbed the wrong one! Give me that! Excuse me, I have to go to the loo. Oh shit, I just shit me drawers. She is so ladylike. Last time I heard that kind of scream was when I caught my husband with the neighbor. What do you want, Lorraine? Can't you see I'm very busy? Super busy! Which means I don't have time for you! All I need is some copy paper. I ran out. No! I don't have no more copy paper! Does anybody have copy paper? We're all out of copy paper. No, I need copy paper. We don't have any. Oh my God, do you have fucking copy paper or not? I just told you I ain't got none. What is this? 911 death? I'll just go fucking buy some. Oh my God. <laughs> Mr. Harold, Ricky gave Marcus a wedgie. Then go back to your class and stop it from happening! <laughs> Frank, please. I'm not going back in there. Ricky pulled Marcus's underwear so hard he farted. I just came to get some Febreze. <sighs> Diane, I don't have no Febreze! Well, then how the hell am I supposed to stop the wedgie if I can't get close? Just hold your nose! Mr. Harold, could you don't whack somebody else with a hand fan again? Ah, that's it! Get out! All of you, get out! But what about my coffee paper? What about Marcus's ass smell? What about the coochie hand fan? I don't care! Get in the damn office! Mr. Harold, students have diarrhea in floor. <laughs> Move, Lorraine! Move, Diane! What the hell? Move, Thelma! All right, guys. Just five more minutes on your worksheets before I come around to collect them. Asha, phone off, please. Sorry, Miss Aunt Shirley. The stupid number keeps calling me. Who is it? I don't know. I ain't got the number saved. It probably just ugly boy looking for ugly girl to be with. 
Okay, your mouth should have been a butthole because all that ever comes out of it is shit. At least I just smell like shit. Enough, both of you. Now quiet it down and continue your worksheet. There it is again. Just turn off your phone. I can't. I'm using my calculator for the worksheet. I told you calculators weren't allowed. Then why does they exist? <sighs> wow. How'd it go? That was the most painful turd I have ever had to push out of my butthole. It was like birth by ass. Shalane, go sit and start your worksheet. I didn't even know a butthole could stretch that wide. Go sit down! Shut the hell up. You're being too freaking loud. Charlie, I hate to bother you, but not really. I'm going to get over it because you know I really don't care. But do you got some Expo markers? Sorry, I'm on my last one. Mr. Harold was supposed to go to the store and get me some more, but obviously that hasn't happened yet. Damn, how else am I supposed to write on the whiteboard? I tried Sharpie, but apparently that ain't dry erase. It ain't no erase. You realize Sharpies are permanent. Right. Yeah, I do now. Who the hell thought of making a marker that you can't erase from a board? It's not made for boards. Obviously, dumbass. That's why I won't erase. Then why did you use it to write on the board? Because I ain't got no expo, bitch. Did you at least get this job by having brain cells? Yes, I did, actually. That was before Mr. Harold and Miss Pumpernickel. There was a different principal before them? Yes, there was. Mr. Landry. Nice man. Good with kids. How did this school go from good with kids to abuse for all ages? So, what happened with Landry? Oh, he found a new job as a mechanic. Now, he owns his own shop. Well, at least he's living the dream. One day, I want to open up my own bakery. And call it what? Diabetes are us? No, I want to call it Christie's Cakes. Ew. <sighs> Just gotta breathe. Shirley, here's your attendance sheet. Thank you. Mr. Harold, what is this? My head shot! Well, I guess I grabbed the wrong folder again. Fuck! I, I already have one of these. Does anybody in here know how to break up a wedgie fight? And... Done. You finished your work? Yeah. That's a draw on a ghost face. I know. You ain't know what to do, did you? No. No, I didn't. But hey! Look how awesome he looks. Uh, we should get to civics. I don't need Mr. Vance yelling at me that I'm late again. You coming? 
Yeah, go ahead, I'll catch up. All right. Come on, ghosty! <sighs> Who keeps calling me? Hello? Who is this? What do you want? For what? Okay, okay. I'll be there this weekend. Hey, any news about your uncle? My dad said he's only getting worse. I'm getting picked up early now so I can go and see him. Oh, I'm sorry, Jason. If there's anything I can do, just let me know, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. It just doesn't feel real, you know? Well, at least he's not dead yet. That didn't come out as good as it sounded in my head. I don't think so either. I'm sorry. I meant at least you still have a chance to go and see him. <sighs> it's cool. I know what you meant. Then why did you just stare at me? Because the way you said it was bad. I know. It was pretty bad. Hey there. Um, hi? We still going for dinner tonight? I'm sorry, what? Um, do I know you? Jason, don't act like you don't know me. We said dinner tonight at 8, right? Hold on, who is this? I don't know her. Um, as if. I'm his girlfriend. His girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. We've been dating for seven months. Who are you? I'm his girlfriend. Oh, wow, Jason. A side piece? Really? We are so done. Madison, I swear, I don't know who she is. You cheated on me? What, is this some game you like to play? You just go around screwing girls with glasses? You never screwed me. No, Madison, I would never. We're done. Forgot about that pile. It's like it's staring at me. Mr. Harold, you have a visitor. Go on and say to me. Hello, Frank.
Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I just meant at least you have a chance to go and see him before anything happens. Wait, what? So I, huh? Wow. Yes, I did actually. That was before Miss. Oh, I keep now. Said but I'm a boom you. No, I don't want to record. Uh... All right, guys, just five more minutes on your worksheets before I cut. They got back up. Awesome. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> How did this school go from good to... Uh. <laughs> really? Yes, I did actually. That was before Miss Pumpernickel and Mr. Harold. I have returned. <sighs> Shut the hell up! You're being too loud. Thanks. I appreciate it. How did this school go from good with kids to abuse for all ages? It wasn't recorded. <laughs> Mr. Harold, I want this bitch exp expended. Oh, he found his. What the fuck? <laughs> That was the most painful turd I have ever had to push out of my butthole. It was like, no. What? What? It, back. I don't know her. How else am I supposed to write on the whiteboard? I tried Sharpie, but apparently that don't erase. No. <sighs> No. No, I didn't. Ew. Yes, I did, actually. That was before Mr. Harold and Miss... I almost... What are you doing in here, senorita? Yes, there was. Mr. Landry. Nice... <sighs> no. Everything seems to be going straight downhill ever since Evelyn left. I don't care, Shirley. <laughs> I don't care. Karen, can you give me the Wi Fi password? Mr. Harold told me you changed it, and I need to log into my email. This shit is bananas. B A G N A N A S. Earth to Karen. This shit is papayas. P A P A Y A S. Karen! Oh my god, you scared the living shit piss out of me. <sighs> I need the Wi Fi password so I can shit piss. Yeah. Can I have the Wi-Fi password? What the hell do you need that for? What's it to you? It's not your Wi-Fi. Oh my God, you people always want shit.
So, the password? <sighs> the Wi-Fi password is the KG stops here. I wish the KG would stop here. It didn't let me in. I have to order collars. Should I get purple or green? Why do we need collars? Some of the dogs don't come in with the collar and we can't slip lead them because then they start choking all over the damn place. <laughs> it could kill them. So the Wi-Fi password is incorrect. Oh yeah, I changed it. Pay twenty fucking dollars for one fucking collar.